Hey, hey, it's Kev from Blender Bits. In this video, we're going to start talking about modeling, which is basically taking existing shapes that we can create in Blender and start messing with them to make our own. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> Now, if you're just finding this video and you're new to Blender, I highly recommend watching the two that come before this. One is on the interface and the other is on creating basic shapes. Those will bring you up to speed for what we're going to do in this video. But if you are a little more advanced or you've watched those, follow along. What we're going to do is let's go over and create a... Hmm, I kind of like the monkey. Let's create Suzanne, okay? Suzanne, the monkey. And let's go closer using the middle mouse button. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit the tab key on our keyboard. That lights her up. And you see she's glowing orange now and kind of interesting looking. What this does is it allows us to get access to these points, edges, or faces. And what that means is... I can now right click on any point and start moving them around. Right click on the point, left click and drag and move things around. And if I hold down shift, I can select right click and select more than one at a time. So I can select a couple and move around and really start playing with it. That's kind of crazy. All right. So, if you look down here, you see three little icons. One is points, the second is edges, and the third is faces. And they're all selection modes. So if you go to edges, you'll see that your points selection disappears, and you can now select edges and do the same thing you just did with points. So you can start pushing and pulling these edges around. So again, you, you right-click to select, left-click to drag. And same thing with faces. Faces, you'll see, this uh, shows you all the different faces by putting a point where the face is, in the middle of the face. So you select, and go in here and select, right-click, and you can drag and move around. Okay? So I would take a few minutes, go in and play with that. Pretty cool. Now, another cool feature is if we say go to edges, okay, so we go down here and we select edges. If we hold down the Alt key on our keyboard while selecting, we get what's called an edge loop. It'll select every edge connected to the edge that you clicked on. So you see, you can, you can holding down Alt, I can click and I can select entire edge loops. This is very, very cool in allowing us to go in and do some really interesting things. Like, say we want to go to over here, Tools, and we say Scale. Okay, we can bring that in. We can push it out. Okay, we can do a number of different things on these loops. So hold down Alt, okay, get a loop. If you hold down Alt and Shift at the same time, Okay, you can select more than one edge loop, and you can start playing around. Scale it, okay, or you can you can translate it by moving it, or you can rotate it. Okay, so you can really start messing with objects, and this is really kind of the basis for going in and building your own things. So once you can get this down, then you can start doing really cool things like extruding and insetting and uh, just a whole bunch of different cool things that allow you to really go in and create your own objects. All right, this is the basis for creating any kind of video game objects, any characters, any props, uh, anything you want inside Blender, architecture, special effects, anything. So what's really important is that you watch this video again, take some notes if you have to, and go in and play. All right, just take, take 15 minutes and play around and really kind of get used to the feel of how this all works. And once you do that, you can move on and we can start doing really, really interesting things. So that's about it for this video. If you liked what you see here and you learned something, hit like and subscribe. 
I will be creating more and we'll be starting to go much more in depth and start doing really cool stuff. Okay, thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.